Hello everybody and welcome to another Hull City match day vlog facing the table toppers today. Burnley, champions elect, aren't they? It's going to be a very, very, very tough game. Am I expecting anything? Absolutely not. But anything we do get is a bonus. It's about an hour to kick off. I'm going to head down to the stadium. I'll put the teams on screen and I'll see you at kickoff. Qua City! Here we go. Corner for City then, it's going to be Ebi Uwe to take. We've had a bright start to this game, Traore had a header put over and um, Ebi Uwe's looked quite sharp on that right side. He's got Traore short but he loops a ball deep in. Syed Manesh rises, can Pelkas keep it in? Ebioe. Seri, ball in. Oh. Can Ali get there? Yes, he can. Nuric claims. Okay, more. Corner for Burnley then. 17 and a half minutes in. I think it's Goodmanson who's taking it. He's been told to wait because of a bit of grappling between. I think that's Bayer and Aliar in the middle. <laughs> well done, Darlo. 25 in then, and it's been quite even so far. That's been quite a surprise. I mentioned Traore had a header which went over early on. Um, Darlo was forced into a good save, which you saw. Coyle and Ebi are linking up well down the right-hand side. Ball in by Coyle. Hellcast. Oh, Why did he head it? Oh, he, headed oh, it. he headed it. He headed it from the 18-yard line. He had space to bring it down. Yeah. Out for, oh, it was offside anyway. It didn't make a difference. But I'm liking this. We're not. We're doing well. We're holding our own against what is a very, very, very good table-topping champions-elect Burnley team. More of the same, please. One 0 Burnley. And it was such an easy, easy goal. Callum Elder just totally, totally outdone by Nathan Teller. And he's screened to the line afterwards. Don't know why. He was totally outdone, but it was so preventable. Teller cut inside, did really, really, really well. And beat Darlow. Yeah. He's a brilliant player, is Teller. And it's no surprise that Burnley are ahead. But that's the kick in the teeth, because we've defended well this half. And it's a silly, silly individual error that has, that, has, um, that has put us behind. Just on the stroke of half-time as well, that's a kick in the teeth. Deep ball in, punch clear by Darlow. I missed the whistle, but that is half-time. Half time, and that's a real shame. That goal, we could have done. You know, we're, we're still firmly in this. We're still firmly, firmly, firmly in this game. But no, it, Elder was appealing for a foul. I think he was just too lightweight. He should. He needed to. He needed to put more of his body behind, trying to shield the ball off. 
from Teller and he just didn't. So that's a bit of a shame. But we are still in this. I think Oscar will be one of the first changes made, definitely. In the Champions League? Yeah. Um, but we've we've taken it to Burnley, and I think we can I think we can be proud of that. But just a little little mistake at the end has let it slip. Change for City then at half time. Demetrius Pelkas coming off. Oscar Estupinian replacing him. Underwear. Change for City early on in this second half. Louis Coyle coming off injured. He's been down a couple of times tonight. Hope he has a speedy recovery and that it's not anything too serious. Replacing him, Greg Doherty, who is going to come in at right back. Free kick City's way then. Seri will take. It's a looping ball straight to Murich. 2-0 Burnley. Cut us open. And that's why these are such a good team. It's Nathan Teller at it again. And it's brilliant. Ball into the middle. And he beats everyone to it. Great, great finish. Beat Dalo. Yeah, I think it's game over now. I think it's definitely game over. Two changes for City. Callum Elba coming off. Jacob Greaves is going to replace him. And then the second one, Adama Traore coming off. He's walking his way off there. He's had a decent game as Adama. Ozan Sufan. Is replacing him. 3 0 Burnley. Nathan Teller hat trick. What a player. A soft goal to give away a little bit, but at the end of the day, he's an incredible player. Got us for pace, and there's nothing Carl Darlow was going to do. He's just incredible, and Burnley are just incredible. There's a reason they're at the top. And this is first-hand evidence of this tonight. They are absolutely incredible. They only need three. They only need three chances. They've got three goals. Wow! Brilliant, brilliant team. Nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. Change for City. Ryan Longman coming on. Say Edmonds coming off on that far side. Ryan Longman coming on. Battling like me. Corner then. Two fan will take. He's got Slater short. In the middle, mm. Jones. Is that is Siri going to get there? No, he isn't. Last 30 seconds then. Oh, two fan! Yes! We've got a goal! A consolation will take it. We've got something. Come on, Ozan. Here we go, then. This will all this will pretty much be it. That's time. Back after the game, then, Dave and Gents, and yeah, look, well, look, we got a consolation. That's what we can take, and. Look, Burnley are just an incredible team. It was a free hit tonight. I think we did ourselves proud with the way we played. Um, we got a goal, but ultimately they are just that good. And there's a reason that they are champions-elect and only need three more wins, possibly less if other results go that way, to wrap up automatic promotion. And we're only in March. But yeah, that's it from me. Thank you for watching. I won't be at Reading, but I'll see you after the international break for the next match day vlog at Rotherham, but you still have all the coverage of the Reading game on Saturday, as usual. So thank you for watching, take care, and goodbye.